it's uh, it's a pleasure to be with you guys. When Anthony uh, hooked up with me after SolarCon, it's like, yeah, I'd like to do it for your team. So there's a lot of you guys that I see, you know, hitters, you know, big big names like Dana and Terry. I'm I'm on the, I'm, I'm on the leadership council with Terry. Uh, it's uh, it's for the entire power team, and I see a lot of you guys are probably also new in in in, in the program in power. So I just wanted to give. I'll try to cover as much as I can, um, just to show, give you guys my background. I'm, I'm a businessman. I've been building businesses for the last forty years, and when I build a business, I it's part of it is sales. I need to sell, you know, what what I what I build. So I built many successful businesses, and Power really kind of wrapped the whole thing, my whole experience for me, because my my skill set is closing deals. And you guys know that you got to close the deal to make money in power. So the first thing I want to share with you guys is, like it or not, you have to realize that you are a businessman. You are empowered not as a rep or not as an employee. You are a business person. The whole goal of doing this is to make put money in the bank, right? That's what business is all about. It's not about building buildings or, you know, how, you know, or or building a big sales force. It's about putting money in the bank eventually. I had businesses in the past where I would, I had, I was doing million dollars in sales and had big offices and had payrolls and all that shit. But I wasn't putting money in my own personal bank account. Everybody got paid with me. So that to me is a wrong way of looking at things. You got to look at what you're doing as a business. So to be a successful business person, you got to put money in the bank. You got to be efficient. You got to look at how much you're putting in, whether you're putting, when you look at a project where you're maximizing the commissions that you make, you get the hell out of that. So you are a business person. That's the first thing you guys got to realize. And I've been doing, I've been doing solar for six years. I have 800 something installs. We're not talking sale, I'm talking installs. And um, I'm kind of like an OG. So when I see when I look at a project, I, I kind of know whether it's going to be a project or not. My mindset is if a project is qualified, if a project is interested, if there is a need, this project will close. There's no reason why they won't close. If they don't close, the only reason they don't close is because it's my fault. I didn't do it right. I did not do it right. So to, wrap, to, to get your mind around, around selling solar, there are specific skill sets that we need to learn when we sell solar. And you, you know this, it's three skill sets. You need solicit things, number one. Number two is presenting, number three is closing. You need to solicit and get leads. I don't pay for leads. I'll tell you that up front. People hit me up and ask me if you know, if you, you can subscribe and pay this much and I'll give you leads that close 100% are good deals. I said, how good are your leads? I get calls like one or twice twice a week. I said, how good are your leads? They're really good leads. I said, and how much do you want? You know, So they want me to pay upfront and so much money. And I said, if they're really good leads, why don't you and I partner on those leads? Because my closing rate is about 80%. Why do we go 50-50? You make $3,000 out of every sale. And they said, no, it's that way I do a business. And I said, sorry, that's that way I do business. 80% of my business I get from referrals, which means you need happy customers. Okay, so I work referrals. And if you guys have been with Power long enough, I think about a year ago, I did a, um, a video on Power on enrolling and engaging ambassadors. When Charles, when Charles Thompson announced, um, I joined Power two years ago, I think it was June, May or June last year, but exactly about two years ago. And um, when he announced the first ambassador program, within two minutes, I enrolled my first ambassador right away. And my, my, my then fiance, now my wife, was the first Power ambassador. As soon as I enrolled her, we put in two or three deals. And within the next day or two, we closed two or three deals with her as ambassador. So ambassador and referrals are the way that I do things. And why do I like working ambassadors? First of all, they're warm leads. There's less resistance. You get higher close ratios. Cancellations are lower. And 
and they're free. I mean, you don't have to pay anything for these deals. So I work ambassadors left and right. That's, that's what I do. Now, when I work the ambassador business, um, you guys need to realize that it's not enough that you just tell people about the opportunity. When you're talking to, a, to an ambassador, you're trying to get a lead, you know, uh, talking to a prospect for the first time. Um, I don't sell solar. I mean, I will tell you guys, don't sell solar because you can sell them anyway, right? You can sell solar when you're, you're, when you're talking to someone the first time you don't even have electric bill, you cannot sell solar. You can't close a deal. So your goal at that point is, you know, if they're, an amb- if they're trying to become a deal, then I'll try to get the electric bill, which is what we do. But if there's just an ambassador, I try to make them ambassadors. Um, that $1,000 is a magic number. You have to push that 1000 bucks. Don't just say, I'll give you $1,000 for each referral, because that's not going to click. You tell them, I have customers that make $1,000 every month. I have customers that make $2,000 every month. Could you use an extra $2,000 in extra income? Yes, if the, la- if the ambassador is a lady, I said, you know what? If you made an exit $2,000 each month, that's a Louis Vuitton bag every month, right? So what did I just do? I made it real. Make that $1,000 real. Don't just say, I'll give you 1,000 bucks. No, make it real. It's to is there anything you want to spend $1,000 on? What do you want to spend $2,000 on each month? Vacation, make it real, make it, make it click. So you always need to sell that $1,000. That That's how the first thing that you need to learn about building ambassadors. And you do it everywhere. Network, network, network. I, I do it when I go to restaurants. I make the, um, the servers my ambassadors. Because everybody could use an extra thousand bucks. I make the bartender my ambassador. I go to the winery. Because I go, I'm close to Temecula, I'm, I'm at the winery almost every other week or almost every weekend, and I make the guys I meet ambassadors, thousand bucks. Now, when you're talking to ambassadors, getting people, don't go into the habit of just handing out business cards like candy, because they're just going to throw it away, right? You hand out business cards, they'll just throw it away. I don't even hand out business cards. When you're talking to people, whether it's ambassador or or um, or, talk, or making them sales or prospects. You're, you're the show, asparagus show. You're talking to someone. I don't hand out flyers. I don't hand out business cards. They just, I'll see it. They just went in the trash. So they said in front, my front. The goal is to get a phone number. If you get a phone number, that you got a lead you can follow up tomorrow. Because remember, you can sell the guy. You just met him at the, at the asparagus meet. So the goal is to get a phone number. Get a phone number so you can call him and then get going. Either they become ambassador, they, bec- they become a sale. And how do you get a phone number? Anthony got the hang of it when he went to, you know, SolarCon and got hooked up with my guy. When they say, can you give me a flyer? There you go. <laughs> there you go, Data. So when you get, or give a pen, but, but I, I would say instead of when, in, when, I, in, when, when they tell me, can you give me a flyer? I said, you know what? Let me text you my information. If you ask for the phone number, they're not going to give you the phone number, right? No, no, no. I can't give you my phone number. He said, let me text you my info. Then I text him my info. And I said, what's your phone number? Uh, let me text you. Oh, it's no, 415, whatever. OK. And what's your name? Bill. So, OK, I texted 415 to Bill. Boom. I send him my info. He gets my info. Guess what I did? I captured his phone number, right? So from a show, I may have one deal, but I may have 20 phone numbers to follow up tomorrow, right? So get the phone number. That's number one. If you don't know how to do that, you don't know how to do that, learn the skill set, how to do that. But you got to make, make sure you get a phone number. Otherwise, you're wasting time. At the, at, if you don't get a phone number to call back, you just waste time. You got one deal, maybe, you know, maybe two possible leads. But what's, what's better than getting 20 or 25 phone numbers to call back on? Then you got things to keep you busy for the whole week. Also, you have to have an elevate, elevator pitch. Show fans, how, who, who has an elevator pitch? 
30 second elevator pitch. Not very many. You need an elevator pitch. If somebody asks you, so what do you do for a living? Uh, uh, the reason it's called an elevator pitch is if you're on an elevator going up and you make strike a conversation with this guy, if he asks what you're doing for a living, before the guy gets off on his phone, you've already told him what you do. So make an elevator pitch, 30 second elevator pitch. Remember, you can't close the deal. You can't close. You just need to get enough interest to get a phone number. Get an elevator pitch and grab that phone number so you can call him tomorrow. Now, if this guy on elevator really gets into a conversation with me and express interest, if I'm going to the 15th floor, he gets off at the seventh floor, guess what? I'm getting off at the seventh floor, right? And we're, we're continuing this conversation. So get an elevator pitch and go get ready for that phone number. You have to be ready all the time. You have to be ready. I mean, that's, that's how you, you solicit. You have to become a walking, living solar billboard. Anywhere you go, everywhere you everywhere you go, anything, any, any place, anytime, you gotta be a walking solar billboard. Your friends and family, neighbors, acquaintances, co-workers, people at, at uh, church, people that you go with, when they think solar, will they think, let me call Richmond or Richard? When they think solar, they should call Wally because I sell solar. So work and start with that, friends and family. People tell me, I don't have enough friends. I don't have enough family. You know, that's, that's crap. You have a lot of friends and family. They just don't know you're selling solar. But you can sell them. Remember, you can't sell them. You just, you just want to get the conversation going. That's why once you have a conversation going, what do you do next? Get an electric bill. Once you get an electric bill, then we can go and close this deal. So you have to be ready to sell all the time. And you have to be organized. You, you need a CRM. Show fans, how many of you guys use a CRM? Great. You don't have a CRM, get a CRM. I'm a data hound. Every deal, I've been doing this for you know six years, 800 deals. You can imagine I have more than every deal that I that I went in front of, made a presentation, or whether I sold them or not, it goes into my CRM with notes and when I went and callbacks and all that. So every deal that I have, I put it in my CRM, not in the solar company CRM, my personal CRM. Because I've, I've been I've been with some of the largest solar companies in in the in, in California in the United States, and every single one of the solar companies, when something happens, then I leave. Guess the first thing they do to me, they shut off my CRM. Right, so I have my power is a great 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 portal, but I still have my own personal CRM. This is my data. It's my own deal. And when you have 800 installs like me with you know a couple of thousand leads in it, you'll never run out of deals because you could just keep call, going back. If, I, if you get bored, go back to the CRM and say, sort, uh, sort pg &E. Then all the pg and deals will show up. Sort Southern California Edison. All Southern California Edison show up and I just make phone calls. Or sort, sort my anniversary of install. Then my installs for the week will, you know, anniversary of installs for the week will show up. Let's say from two, three years ago, they all show up. And I said, oh, you, and I, I, I give them a call. Hey, how, this wallet, how are you doing? How's the install? How's your solar? You love solar? Oh yeah, love it. Wonderful. You know, you're a perfect guy to, to make extra money in this because you have solar. Could you use an extra thousand dollars a month? Referrals. Work and work and work referrals. Okay, that's, that's how you do this. And um, you need to, um, when, you make, when you're having a conversation, you have to close to get leads with that conversation, whether it's a seller, whether you sell it or not. You try to, to make a close, get names, get names to the phone numbers, basically, get referrals. Let's say you made a phone call and, said, and they say, 
oh, I just said, I have, um, hey, I'm, I'm in solar. He said, oh, I already have solar. The new guys will say, thank you. See you later. Bye. Thanks for your time. No, you have solar. Wonderful. How do you like it? It's great, man. How long have you had it? Two, three years. So wonderful. You how's the electric bill? Really nice. Oh, yeah. I don't pay Edison. I don't pay pg &E. Great. You know what? Because you have solar, you're the perfect guy to tell other people about solar. How would you like to make a thousand dollars each time you refer someone to? Could you use an extra thousand bucks? Whether they have solar or not, you hit them up for referrals, whether they buy or not. Like I would like close a deal and the deal doesn't close. I'm not walking away. I said, oh, let's say they don't qualify for credit. I mean, oh man, they didn't qualify. Sorry, bye. You're not qualified. I said, oh, you're not going, I'm sorry that your, your credit is not good enough. It may be good enough in about 60 days. Maybe we can try again. But in the meantime, I know you have friends and family are also looking to solar, right? Could you use an extra thousand dollars a month? Leads. That's how you never run out of referrals. Because you work friends and family and you, you make it a perpetual chain. You work friends and family, and then they give you, they give you names, and, names of their friends and family. And then you call those people, and those people will turn, give you more names of their own friends and family. I have solar deals that are like eight, nine generations deep. Soul deals. A referral of a referral of a referral of a referral of a referral. And why do I work those referrals? Because they're easier to close. Some people ask me, how can you get a such a high closing ratio? Well, first of all, I, I work, I work close, I'm lazy. I work deals that are easy to close, right? And second, I'm, I'm skilled. I know how to close a deal. So you work all your sold deals and, and your all your installs. And, and um, that's how you generate referrals. So the first thing is soliciting. Second thing is you, you need to you need to work on a presentation. A presentation that'll help you. You know, eventually, if it, the goal is to is to have them sign. If they don't sign, it's not a deal. I I I talk to reps all the time. Said, "Oh, I have four deals, man, and how many signed? Not yet. I'm still working on it. That's not a deal. A deal is a signed deal. A close deal is a signature. A signature is a close deal. So you need to work in a presentation. A presentation that'll help you deliver." the knowledge, deliver the information in a way that will make them agree that you're the guy they want to sign with. And once you get through the presentation, you, you, need, to close, you, clo you need to close the deal. So to make all those three happen, learning is the key. You need to learn. There's a lot of, uh, lot of information on, on Power University, but you also need to go beyond that. Power University will only tell you about you know, about solar, but you need to learn the skill set of how to, how to actually close a sale. Closing a sale, and the, 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 the you know, the OGs in, among you guys will know this, closing a sale is both an art and a science. It's about reading people. I'm good at what I do because I've been doing it for 40 years. First sentence for two, three sentences with a, con with a customer, I know whether I have a chance of closing this or not because I'm gaining traction. I don't have to read people. And this is a skill set that you learn over time. But you also need to learn how to close a sale. I know a Power has been reaching out to me, uh, you know, with from asking help on how to give, give videos on how to handle objections. And it's a good thing. You need to learn how to handle objections. But handling objections and closing sales is more than just me memorizing a few words here and there. It's an art and a science. I would go and, and look up you know, videos on the internet on how to close, on real sales close. I'm talking old school sales closers. The new, the new supposed sales closers you see on the internet now, they're not sales closers. They're motivators, each telling you to get up out of bed in the morning and, and go out there and start working to make a million bucks so they, you can see them driving in their, in their you know, Lamborghinis. That's to me, it's not closing a sale. I need to learn the nuts and bolts. We all need to learn the nuts and bolts on how to handle a specific person 
what to say when they say this or they say that. So that is something that you learn there. I'm old school. Show of hands. Anyone, anyone of you guys know Tom Hopkins? There you go. So Coma knows Tom Hopkins. Tom Hopkins is, is my God. Um, if you don't know him, I would suggest you look him up on the internet, Tom Hopkins and how, how to master that, the, sale, the art of closing. Get his book. It, it, it's a really good book. It'll, it'll give you a lot of basics on how, how, to, how, to, how to close a sale. But um, watch videos and learn many techniques. Learn, learn from everyone. Learn, watch videos on how to learn videos, on how, how to close. So training, it's, it's I, I keep making analogies like, um, like shooting, a, shooting a, a free throw in basketball. Those basketball players, they, the pros, they, they shoot those free throws millions of times. So when they, when they they're at the game and they're shooting that free throw, it's, it's, it's automatic, don't even think about it. Closing and your presentation should be the same thing. You shouldn't be thinking about it. It should be all automatic. You should be that comfortable, which means you need to practice it. I'm now where I am because of four decades of training. It's second nature to me. It's, I'm like a pro athlete. So like a pro athlete, you need to learn the right way. We need to practice. We need to execute and then repeat the process. Learn, practice, execute, repeat. And just, just keep doing that cycle. Learn, practice, execute, repeat. And um, if you do it this way, then you'll watch your, your sales ratio, your closing ratios go up. And watching your closing ratio go, go up means your lifestyle changes. Now you, you make more money in the bank than, than you ever did. And um, I've been doing this for a long time, selling uh, power for, you know, I mean, power for a couple of years, solar for about six years, but I've been, In my younger years, I was always chasing the dream, you know, make money in the bank, you know, make, put that big house in the hill. I went to the point where I don't do that anymore. Now I just want a happy life. I want a happy life where I can blend my, my happy life with my work. And that's what I'm trying to do now. I work uh, quality, I don't work quantity. I'm more efficient now. And working efficiently is, it's all because of what I do, I've been, training myself how to do this. So any one of you guys just starting out there, um, it's all about, to me, my mindset is I will do everything to the best of my ability today. And the best of my ability means if I'm sick and I'm 50% able, I'm still putting in 100% of my 50%. I will work my butt off to, you know, to, 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 to get a sale, to get something going. I sell 100% virtual. I don't sell door to door. I haven't done it for two years. I will, I will refuse to go into a house. One of my customers uh, called me and asked me if I could do a in-home a presentation to him. And he lived like half a mile from my house. I said, no, it's not safe for you, it's COVID. You know, we, we, we gotta keep you safe. <laughs> so I, I did it online and I closed the deal. So I will not, um, I just do 100% virtual sales. In fact, that's one of the things that's going to come up at Power World. We're doing a, a whole session on, on virtual selling. But to me, let me ask, let me find out from this group how many of you guys are not virtual selling, not selling online. You're still going door to door. You should look at virtual selling. Okay, first of all, to me personally, the closing ratio in virtual selling is a lot higher than face to face. Because in virtual selling, it's you and me like this. I got your full attention. You have me. And I'm, you're looking at every single thing that I say and do. I'm more convincing that way. If I'm in home, he's on the couch like this. And you guys have done this. You know, you go, I've, I've done in-home selling for four years and power and solar for this. I go into a home. And if that guy sits on the couch like this, that sale is uphill right? Because they're too comfortable. So when I go in home, I tell them, let's sit at the dining table. It's easier to get the attention and get your point across at the dining table because you're like this, business-like. Same with virtual selling. So I only sell virtual. 
I would really encourage you guys to look at virtual selling because that, that is the way to go. Number one, your close ratio is higher. And number two, you can sell beyond your geographic driving area. Before virtual selling, before COVID, I would drive Southern California. If you guys know Southern California, it's huge. I would drive 14 hour days, go from appointment to appointment. I'd leave the house at eight, nine, eight morning, won't get home till like 10 in the evening. Appointment to appointment to appointment. I was that tired. I mean, when I, I made, I always, and I always made a point to, to make one sale a day. I mean, that, that's my goal is one sale a day. I will not go home until I have a sale for the day. There are days when I make one sale minimum. Sometimes I'll make two deals or three deals in one day. That's why I was number one rep for the consultant companies I work with in, in Southern California. But we were making peanuts, man. We make 500 bucks a deal. A deal. I'd be lucky to make 1500 in one deal. So if I made two, two sales, $1,000 a day, yeah, I work 14 hour days, but you know, $1,000 in 14 hours is, is still good enough. But once I learned power, it's different. You sell in California, you make $7,000 a deal. And now with virtual selling, you could sell outside of your area and sell the whole 25 states. I mentor everywhere. I mentor in all 25 states. So that allows you, that's the power of virtual selling. You, you can sell anywhere you want. And, and that's the, one of the things I really would encourage you guys to do is learn, learn how to do it. Um, one, the, the other thing that I wanted to, to put across to you guys is, um, is the, commitment to, the commitment to excellence. I am committed to, my, you know, to learning and perfecting my craft which is the art of closing. So when a, when a customer is, when, I, when I'm with a customer, like one time I remember I was, uh, I was in home with a customer and he was ready to sign. I mean, it was ready to sign. And at, at some point the, the thing turned and I couldn't get him to sign. He hesitated and he said, nope, get, let me think about it. And no matter what I do, I couldn't do anything anymore. I got out into my car and close the windows and I screamed. I said, oh shit, I knew exactly where I made a mistake. That happened to you guys? You know exactly where you made a mistake and the thing turned. And knowing when you make the mistake is part of knowing your craft. Learn your craft so you can execute perfectly. Like when I was driving 14 hour days, I would go into an appointment and I would be so sleepy and tired because it's hot and I'm driving. And I know in this condition, my mind is not there. I'm not focused. I'm not 100% in it. And I have an hour or hour and a half to my next appointment. I would drive in, I would go into a movie theater, pay seven bucks and sleep for an hour. Sleep for an hour. I come out of that thing refreshed. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to close the deal. That's mastering your craft, guys. Knowing yourself and knowing your ability to be perfect. You cannot close a sale if you're half asleep. You cannot close a sale if you're half drunk or over, hungover from yesterday. Take the day off. You're wasting your time. Right? You have to be on your game. Physically, mentally, emotionally. I only do... Um, you know, between one and three, and three, maximum four appointments a day now. Rarely do I do four appointments, but I normally do one, one, two or three appointments. And when I do those four appointments, and it's it's the whole day, it's every three, three hours I'm doing an appointment. At the end of the day, I am mentally drained. I'm drained because, because closing is an intellectual exchange. You're, 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 you're you know, you're jousting with this guy, you know, looking for openings, looking for them to tell you things that you can use your opportunity. When they say, can you put these solar panels on this side of the roof? You know, some guys say, yeah, of course I can put it there. I don't do that. I don't do that. I say, when they say, can you put solar panels on this side of the roof? I said, is that where you want me to put your solar panels? They say, yes. 
Wonderful. I'll make sure they go up on that side of the room. Closing. These are things that come second nature to me that, that, that will come to you as, as you get to learn more. And, and that, that's, that's really what it's all about. So you need to practice, learn, you need to learn that craft. You need to practice your craft. You need to present and you need to repeat the process. Repeat the process. You guys who manage salespeople, you probably know this. I've managed thousands of salespeople over 40 years. And when my, when my top performer will come back and, and I see that the, the production is down for the past two weeks, after being my top performer for a long time, I, I bring him to my office and say, what's going on? I don't know, it's bad luck. I'm not doing this, I'm not doing that. I said, okay, let me listen to your presentation. And that presentation is way different from what he had a month ago. Because you tend to improvise. You get bored, you keep saying the whole same thing over and over again. You, you tend to stay straight and then the presentation is not the same. So I have, you have to call yourself back in and practice the presentation again. So you're back on track to the presentation that made money for you in the first place. You can't improvise. It's not like playing jazz, you know? You gotta stick to the notes. You gotta play classical music, man. It's classical music. You start, you start improvising, it's not as effective. You're gonna lose yourself. So those are just some of the things that, you know, that, that I do. Um, and power to me is the best opportunity I've ever had um, selling, selling in solar. It is the number one opportunity. And just like Dana shows you guys, it's power allows me to work less time and make more money from anywhere and, 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 and you know, anytime I want to do it. Those of you guys don't know my story. I go to the, I'm from the Philippines. I came to the US in 1983 with $600 in my pocket, no job. To me, it was, it was, you know, it was survive or die. It was thrive or wither. I, I had to make it. That's all, if I run out of money, that's it. I don't have more money. So, but I have never been employed. I've never received a paycheck since 1983. To me, it's all business and 1099s. And that to me, gave me the commitment to excellence. So power allows me now to do this where I, I go to the Philippines once every year on vacation. I would go for 30 days. And last year I couldn't go because of COVID. And this year I went, and this is the first year that I actually went with, when I realized there was an inter internet infrastructure in the Philippines. I realized I can go online. When I was going, uh, I remember Rachel telling me, well, you could go into your portal and turn off the, the switch in your calendar and people will know that you're on vacation not to give you leads. And now let me just see what's gonna go happen first. I go there and I see I can make, I can Zoom, I can make appointments. I just started selling. I would be on the beach in front of the ocean like this and I'm zooming and closing deals. And I didn't, I would close, I would make one or two appointments a day, maybe a day or every other day, I'd close the deal then go, go to the beach and go island hopping. I didn't realize that I was, I was writing deals. I didn't realize how, how many deals I was writing. And then when, when Jonathan Budd announced that, you know, that these are the, you know, the top performers. And then he said, I was, I was number one mentor for every month that I was in the Philippines. I said, holy shit, I didn't even realize that. I just kept writing deals because I wrote the deal and then move on to, to the beach. I think it's because I was, I was uh, on the beach and on vacation that when I was talking to people, you know, they could see my energy radiating from me. And you know, there was no pressure. I just kept writing deals. So power allows you and everyone else in this portal to do that. You could be anywhere and be selling. I will be go. I bought six because I bought my experience in the Philippines. I bought sixty acres of land two two months ago. In fact, we're we're making the we're making wire transfers not to transfer the money into our, to the title to us. I'm gonna build a house on that six acre of it's virgin rainforest. Everywhere I go is just thick rainforest up up in the mountains. So my view is mountain ranges and so green. And guess what? They have internet. They have internet. I'll be working 
facing this thing with internet. And because the, 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 you know, the expense in the Philippines, the cost of living is so cheap. It's so cheap. I can get a massage for $3, three bucks. I got one hour massage. I get manicures and pedicures for $2. I get a haircut for a dollar. I don't even shave anymore. When I'm there, I would go to the barbershop and get shaved for a dollar and a haircut for a dollar every other day. It's so cheap that now I, when I'm there, I don't have to work as hard as I'm doing now. I don't need to write four, 30, four, you know, 30 deals, 40 deals a month. I don't need to. I write two, three deals a week. I'm in good shape, man. So my life just became better. Power allowed me to do this because I can work anywhere. You guys can work anywhere, anytime you want. If you feel you have enough money in the bank, switch off. It's not a good businessman move. You know, because you're, you're, you're turning away revenue, but still sometimes you really need to just switch off and come back refreshed. You need to go to the movie theater, sleep for an hour and come back and close those deals. That's the thing that we want to do with power. We want to find that balance where you can have a nice life. If you want, you can open a, a glass, of, you know, a, have, open a bottle of wine and have a glass and then go to sleep and relax. So if you, you, you know, or you close one or two deals, you're happy, but you gotta find that right balance. I'm, I'm done chasing. I'm done chasing, you know, chasing dreams. My, my dream is my reality now, it's Wally World. I blend my, my life with, you know, with, with, with my work style. And to me, that's, that's what power is. When I, when I met Jonathan Budd, you know, I, I'm really impressed with what, what this guy, this young kid has done. Because I've been with many solar companies in the past before power. And I'm always number one in those solar companies. And I'm telling you guys, every one of those solar companies that I left, they all owe me money. You guys who've sold solar before, you know the experience, right? You left because they didn't pay you. And they said, oh, I'm not a crook. When you, when you leave, I always pay my, 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 my salespeople. No, nope. they still owe me money. But power is the real deal because it's full disclosure. Power is the only solar company I work with where I, when I calculate the pro, a commission and then I get paid in the end, I, I, most of the time I always paid more than what I originally calculated. That tells you something. You guys know, you've experienced this, right? So power is the best opportunity out there. You guys take advantage of this opportunity. How do you take advantage of the opportunity? Treat it like a business. You are a business person. And how do you, what, what's, what's the most effective? If, if you're a business person with, with a retail store, with a brick and mortar store, it's not how many people walk in the store it's how, that, that matters to you. Well, the traffic matters. How many people you talk to, how many people walk in the store. What matters is how much money is in the cash register at the end of the day. How much, how many people paid you? How did you maximize? Did you upsell? If they came in for a gum, you should sell them, you know, you know a soda and a hot dog or whatever. Upsell, increase the amount of money you make per sale. Don't be happy with a $1,000 commission when you can get away with four and still make him happy and still justify the sale, right? If you made $4,000 per deal, then you, and, and compared to someone who's making a $1,000 deal, you only need one sale and this guy will make four. Maximize your commissions. Think like a businessman. When I price a deal, it's always $10,000 profit, $7,000 commission. And that's what I teach my mentees. Because to me, when a mentor gives, a mentee gives me a deal, I know that that's very important to them. So I wanna make sure I close that deal for them. I will go ahead and earn to close that deal for them. I'm not God, I can't close every deal, but I can tell you there's a very high likelihood I close that deal for them because I want them to earn and learn. People tell me, uh, somebody once said in one of the Facebook, uh, on the Power TV thing, he said, uh, I, I want to watch, you know, while you do a mastermind and how to close a deal. I said, just flag me as mentor and let's make, earn and learn at the same time, you know? You learn my process and then you make money at the same time. 
work with mentors in the program, in power. I'm one of the top performers in power, but I still mentor on, on the, on, you know, under other people. Between me and, and Charles Thompson, Jonathan and Chris Brunasso, we mentor with each other. Chris just, uh, Chris just actually sent me another email the other day before he went to Mexico. He said, hey, uh, I want to send another deal with you. I want, to, I want to see your process again. I said, sure, no problem, man. I'm a good closer, but I still mentor with these guys because I want to learn their system. I want to learn what they do that I don't do yet. I want to improve my craft. So you guys should take advantage of this deep, you know, deep resource of mentors we have in power. I'll be more than happy to mentor you guys. If you don't have your mentor, that's fine. But deal with, work with someone and, you know, and mentor and watch different things and then make it your own and learn. That's one of the things that, that works for us in power. There's an endless source of resource. So mentor with other people and just get, get the thing done. Because to me, a deal is, um, like I told you guys, I'm, I'm anal about clo closing a deal. If I don't close a deal, this is my mindset. If, I, if a deal is qualified, the, the deal is interested and there's a need, this person should close. I want him to close because I know, number one, I'm giving him a good service. Uh, solar will help him, definitely, right? That's why we're all selling this. And number two, I'm giving them the best solar company in the United States, in the world. Best customer service, power. There, JC Rangel keeps saying solar is the no brain, uh, what do you say? An IQ test, right? You heard JC say that? So it's an IQ test. I go, I go beyond that. I said, it's not just an IQ test. It's a measurement of guilt. Solar is no guilt because I'm giving them something they need that will help them in the long term. I have no guilt selling solar to my grandmother. I have to disclose the, the tax credits, but I, I disclose everything. And if it's going to help her, I will sell. I will help her. I'll sell her. So if a customer doesn't sell. It's my fault. Why? I didn't do my job. I was not able to help this customer make a decision that will benefit her or him in the long term. I feel guilty because I didn't do my job. I didn't prepare for it well. My presentation was not perfect. My proposal was not correct. I didn't prep enough. I didn't realize that they had this need and this need, and I wasn't ready for that. Something went wrong in my, you know, in, in, in my process. If I don't sell someone, it's my fault. If you guys want to succeed, that's the same mindset you guys should have. If you don't sell them, it's your fault. And you should feel guilty because now they're going solar. They're either not going solar, you're going to stay with the, with the utility company, or they're going solar with Sunrun. God. 60% of customer service calls to Federal Trade Commission is Sunrun and Tesla. You don't, I tell people, go with any other solar company. Just don't go with Sunrun. I don't care if I don't get your business. I'm going to tell you, don't go with Sunrun. Takes them six months right now to install. So get that mindset. That's how you, you keep pushing you know, to get that sale. Um, like remember, like running a Boston Marathon, you run, right? And then at the last, you know, last 50, 50 yards, you run out of breath and you fall. You just ran and you didn't finish the race. Closing is like that. You got to finish the race. You got to take everything in you to go finish that race. Close that sale. You gotta close that sale. I know closing is... You know, I, I keep talking about how, how clo what, what closing is, but I can't teach you in, in an hour what, what closing is. You have to teach yourself. Watch videos, learn, learn from people. And remember, it's an art in a science. It's an art of reading people so they can, you, can, you can blend them into, into agreeing with you that what you're giving them is the right thing that will benefit them in the long term. That, that's what closing is to me. So I welcome you guys to, to power, because power is the place where we all are 
fortunate to do this. And it's an open, this open platform is just, um, and the full honesty of the way we deal with things is just to me unheard of in the, in the solar business. When Jonathan tells you that we have, that we're running out of, you know, um, solar panels, he tells you the real deal. This is this is situation, this is what we're doing. So you know how to deal with it. As a business person, you need to be in the loop, right? If you don't know what's going to happen, how can you sell? All of a sudden you're selling, then you run out of panels. But the, the way the power model is done is the, is the cost of goods sold. It's just, the perf, you know, it's a perfect model because it tells you exactly what the cost of the project is. And you can price it, price it the way you want. Make $500 a deal, that's your call. I'd rather make four, five, six thousand dollars in one deal. Like uh, somebody said um, earlier that, um, oh, Dana, Dana said it's uh, for five hundred dollars, four hundred dollars, you know, for uh, for that booth at the Asparagus Festival, right? So that's only four. That's only one deal, and I made it four times. I, I'll go beyond that. It's only one deal. I made it eight times. I made it 10 times. I'd make it 10 times, you know, make four grand. I'll make it 20 times, make it one of that one deal. Because one of the things I don't like about that I'm not, you know, that I think power is, is not doing right for me is they measure how many deals you write. That's fine. But one guy could, could write, you know, 500, you know, write 50 deals in one month and make $500 a deal. When I, I can write 10 deals and make $10,000 in one deal, $10,000 per deal. I only made 10 deals, but in the end, what matters to business people? Cash and bank, guys. If you can add an extra $500 to your markup, every project, and you wrote 10 deals a week, I mean a month, that's $5,000 extra income. You didn't even try. Because five hundred dollars in extra markup is probably three, four dollars in extra monthly payment, right? Make sense? Makes sense. Makes sense. Add the extra three, four dollars to your monthly payment, and your commission just went up. You know, five, six hundred, seven hundred dollars. So maximize the money, maximize the sales, maximize the number of sales you write. And you can only do that by learning how to close and then maximize how much money you make for each deal. And then you measure how much money they have in the bank. I, I look at my portal and I say, how much, what, what's my month to date deposit? But that's all I look at. How much is my month to date deposit? And as long as the numbers are up where I want it to be, I'm good. Even if I wrote less deals, that's fine. I may have written, you know, five less deals than last week, but each deal that I wrote is like two, two, three thousand dollars more than average in, than the previous month. I'm, I'm still good. I'm still there at that dollar amount I want. So with that, I've been talking too much. I'm gonna open it up to you guys. <laughs> if I know you have questions, just shoot away, guys, and I'll be, I'll try and do my best to clarify anything that you think need you need help with. I personally just had a couple questions and then maybe we can open up to everyone. Uh, guys, if you have questions, maybe just chime it into the chat and uh, we can um, you know, go in there. But um, this is kind of a two part question. First part is uh, how many ambassadors do you have, Wally? Ambassadors, not like a downline or anything, but just straight up people referring deals to you. I'm guessing because I don't even count them because ambassadors are like, are like salespeople, you know, you, you yeah. could get all of this ambassador, but not all of them productive. Correct. I would say I have several hundreds, many hundreds. hundreds. But as far as productive, it's the same ratio as everyone else. I probably have about, I, I, was, I would say about 20 ambassador active, give me leads on a regular basis. And then maybe a hundred or so that just throws in one every month or every so. Month. All, right. you want, all you want to do is get three or four new leads coming in every week. Yeah. And the ambassadors can come, not just from ambassadors that I write, they can also be my customers. Yeah. Because my customers are giving me leads. Because selling the ambassador that $1,000 is part of my presentation. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. Okay. And kind of the second part to that, <clears throat> so you were uh, in the Philippines three months, 
top rep, top everything, top earner uh, during that, that 90 day span. Um, we do have reps that maybe are new or, or are experienced and maybe uh, they're not in at one of the 25 states that we currently operate in. Um, what would you recommend to them seeing that you did it from another country, let alone, you know, hey, I'm in Oregon. When is Oregon going to launch, right? Uh, but what would you kind of recommend to those guys that aren't yeah, in I have inquiries from reps like that. I say, I'm in Oregon and I said, yeah. we're friends and family. He said, I've used up all my friends and family. I said, yeah, in Oregon, but what California? Yeah. Don't you have friends and family in California from high school? And then just work that multiple generations again. And I would, if I were you guys, I would work, um, like why, why sell in Colorado when you're only making $500,000 a deal? When you can sell in California, make $7,000 a deal. Cash in bank, guys. So the, those are the, the, the things that I would really encourage you to think 25 states. You have a sister in California. That sister said no to solar. Then you walk away, no. Make that, uh, that sister realize $1,000 in it. Work that sister to give you two or three names. Then you call those two or three names. And then you call the two or three names that those guys give you. It's a nonstop, you know, I mean, it's, it's networking. It's basically knocking on doors. It's the same, the idea on virtual selling and soliciting is the same as knocking on doors. You knock on doors, they say no, then you, you go forward to the next one. But you, when you when somebody knocks and when you get an opening, then you clo close it. So virtual allows you to do that, get that opportunity to sell everywhere. Don't just say, I, I run out of friends in, you know, in, in, in Washington state. Yeah, I know, but your sister lives somewhere, right? Yeah. You have, you have friends from high school, go open your yearbook. Your friends from high school, you know, move to California, give them a call. One of my reps has been working his yearbook from high school and we've closed like six or seven deals. Awesome. Awesome, so awesome. Listen, uh, non-stop knock is non-stop knock. We call it DDK, digital door knocking. <laughs> digital door knocking, DDK, I like DDK, that. Yeah, I got that from Don Crawford and Jeff Martin, the, the program we call the DDK digital, digital door knocking. You just knock, call, knock, send text messages, you know, Yeah. follow up. For sure, for sure. Um, see another question here, what CRM do you recommend? I personally use, um, uh pipe drive okay. it's, a, it's very simple for me to use and crm all i want in a crm really is a place where i can write my name my notes um i can write um follow uh scheduled callbacks um i i can i can write um conversations i had name address phone numbers and every conversation i have with someone it goes and i'm talking with one of you guys and you're my lead, my CRM is open and I'm typing as we're talking. Hence a dog, dog named Spot, wife loves, you know, to go to Vegas, you know, loves fishing. I'm writing all my notes here. So when I call them two, two months or three months, you know, hey, how's Spot? You guys been to Vegas yet? <laughs> right? right? And that is a nice breaker. Then the yeah. door opens, you know? So that, that's what a CRM for me is for, is to write details. Because I'm old and I don't remember shit anymore. So I need a CRM to write everything. Okay. Uh, I, I see a question in here kind of referring to, um, I guess, paying for the platform. Um, you, as a business owner, kind of what's your perspective on that? Is the $50 worth it um, to be able to essentially run a solar business in a box? <laughs> it's... Paying for that platform is really nothing. I mean, I, I could be in a business and I could be paying $10,000 a month in rent. 50 bucks is nothing. If you're complaining about $50, you're not making money. Yeah. You, and that's all it is. I mean, $50 is nothing. I paid the $50, I paid the 35 for Power Live, even though I don't attend most of the sessions because I, I know a lot of the stuff already. And I, I still, um, um, the, the training you get for that, just in case you guys don't know, when you run, I was to do another solar company. And every time we run a solo proposal, it was 50 bucks. They were telling us, don't run solo proposals until it's, until it's a firm deal. I said, how can I not run a solar? How can I sell if I don't have a solo, solo proposal? 
So they were telling us, don't run solar proposals. It costs the company 50 bucks every time. Here, 50 bucks have unlimited solo. Yeah. Unlimited. So yeah. to me, it's um, think like a business person. Don't, don't sweat the, the $50. Focus on, instead of sweating 50 bucks, focus on writing business. Because it's yeah. $50, $5,000 the commission, it's like, that's $150, you know. <laughs> that, that's going to pay for for four years of of, <laughs> of power and you know yeah. just one deal and if you guys are not attending the training sessions you guys should the, the training the the week the training sessions first if you're not power live you should go power live pay the 35 bucks it's well worth it then all attend the weekly training sessions that they have attend all the training sessions go to power world I know it's some some people may be an, an expense, but there's a way to get there where you, you guys can carpool in a hotel. Go to Power World because the stuff you will learn is 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 priceless. It's not just watching this guys. The, I'll be there. I'll be teaching on virtual selling, but it's not just me teaching you guys. It's actually being face to face and interacting. And once you get interact face to face and you see the energy of this champion in front of you, it rubs off. You'll come out of that thing with so much energy. You'll be selling the hell out of. You'll be able to overcome everything. Go to Power World. Find ways to get there. Just pay the. I think I paid three hundred dollars for my ticket, and then get a hotel room with four or five of you guys and split it. Split it. So that's what I have to say about that fifty dollars and the fee that Power's charging. It's it's well. You just well upsell them to Power World, Bali. Yeah. <laughs> Well, well worth it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So he's got the 50 bucks now. He's got Power Live and he's going to Power World. Yeah. So you, I mean, that, that really just get Power Live. 35 bucks is, uh, is, is for, for this kind of training you're getting, it, it's just unbelievable. Yeah. I mean, just uh, May the 4th, Dana taught us how to kill the bill in pg &E, So yeah, that's, <laughs> that's quality training right there. You can't beat that. Yeah. Right there. Yeah, so. All right, uh, that, that's all the questions I see in the chat. That's all the questions I had. Does anyone else have any questions? Feel free to unmute yourself. Um, feel free to chime in the chat. Um, I, didn't, I didn't quite make $5 million, Doug. <laughs> the first hundred, first many hundred sales I wrote, it was like at $500 a pop. <laughs> we were, not, we were making right. shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but with power, we're, make, we're making bank. Yeah. We're making bank here. I, I see a question and uh, how do you feel about buying leads um, if, if you have no family anywhere else? So I guess paying for digital marketing, um, anything like that. I, I don't buy leads. It's just to me, it's just, um, I bought leads one time, paid uh, $3,500 to sign in and never even got one sit. I just don't buy leads anymore. And every lead that I got from that deal, it was, um, they're not interested in talking. It, it was just, when, when you get bad leads, it eats up on you emotionally. Yeah. All right? When you get deals and you go, oh, I got 10 deals in one day. Great. I call them. They all hang up. There's no answer. It eats up on me emotionally. But when I get a deal that I really need to close that day, I'm pooped. <laughs> I'm not efficient. Hey, I can't sell anymore. I would rather be efficient. I'd rather be work on quality than quantity. But kind of my feeling towards that is I, I feel it should supplement what you're already doing it shouldn't you shouldn't put all your eggs in that basket that buying leads is, is gonna get you 800 installs uh it, it should just be just viewed as a, a couple sales here and there but you just still work the referrals and work you know all that other stuff i mean i'm, I'm not telling you guys not to door knock because door knocking is great i'm not telling not to buy leads but don't get conned by some of the lead gen companies out there yeah because um, the leads that you get that I, I got from the one that I joined is just really it's it's trash. I wasted I wasted thirty five hundred. No, I said never again. For sure. And then uh, can you repeat the um, the CRM that you used? It's called Pipe Drive. Post in chat here. Okay. And then and uh, I want to share something with you guys. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Let me share my screen here. Okay, so I'm just going to share with you. Part of handling rejection 
Oh, here, here's a good idea. You guys take selfies? Yes. Can you see my screen? No, not yet, huh? No, no, no. Okay. There you, go. you guys take selfies? Mm -hmm. You should take selfies like this. I gave this lady $4,000 in November. $4,000 in one month. I've given her, uh, in, the, in 12 months, I've given her $16,000. You show this, like I was at the show with my wife last Friday, because it was a Friday. She said, I'm bored at home, let's go do a show at the mall. I, and she said, I called and paid hundred bucks. So we went there, set up a table. And all I did was show this. I could have talked to everybody and said, you know what? You can make a thousand dollars each month. Then I showed this picture on my phone. See this, $4,000 in one month. It makes it real. And I did not write one sale. Um, I did get one good lead that's closing escrow in a house, but I did get about 10 or 12 ambassadors or referral partners. And that's what you want to do when you're at the show. Yes, it's great to get a lead maybe, but you want to get ambassadors there too. Every, every vendor in, that, in that, uh, that parking lot at the mall said they will send us referrals. Because these vendors are there wanting to make money. Yep. And so there is people I said, your neighbors, just send it to them. I'll give you a thousand bucks. Oh, yeah. Are okay. You? So I got the phone numbers. I'm, and that's what we're doing this week. We're calling all these people. Making sure that I get referrals from them. And are, are you utilizing the, the one tap in that situation? Yes. Okay. Um, you guys don't know the one tap. It's... Um, we're, we're going to have Charlie on a training, uh, I think, in June, mid-June. So I don't know if you want to join, um, but Charlie's actually going to chime in with us. Tell Charlie he owes me uh, he, he <laughs> owes me some royalties. But I, I want to share something real quick with you guys, real quick tip. This is how... Here you go. So let's say... Um, Let's say I met you at the, at the swap meet, right? Yeah. I, I met Anthony at the swap meet. And I say, yeah. uh, trying to talk to you. And I said, let, let me just, um, instead of asking you what's your phone number, which you, which you refuse to send, I said, let me send you my phone. Let me send you my info. Oh, sure. And I said, what, what's your phone number? Give me your phone number, Anthony. Phone nine? Yeah. 247. 247. 0725. Is that correct? Uh, 0725. 247-0725. What's the error code? 209. Okay, let's do that. 209-247-0725. So this is your phone number, right? Let me send, let me send you my, my contact info, okay? Okay. Then I make, do you know how to get, you, know, you guys know how, how keyboard shortcut works? So I just sent this to you, right? Yep. And then I open and I and you open it, and this is what you see. Come on, you're not slow. But I just sent you my contact in with six characters. Keep it a shortcut. And now you have you have this. But you make sure you gotta make sure you tell Charlie not you know to change this because yeah 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 I'm just copy and paste it. <laughs> copy and paste it. Just tell him to make and I, Charlie now is gonna make your own thing now. So this is yeah, what yeah. I said. Yeah. If, if you're if you're a newbie, you know I'm just ready to swap meet, and you get this, at least you have better chance of of you know learning who I am. If I'm trying to, somebody gave me a referral. Uh, one of my customers gave me a referral. I, I send them, a, what I do is I'll send them a text message. And I say, um, so I would have, um, I, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm giving you guys some of the, some of the, um, the nuggets. Some of the nuggets here. So I, I, would, I have notes. Let me just show you guys now. So I have notes like, 
like this, okay? Because I want everything, I'm efficient, I want everything done right away. So as, as soon as I get a referral from someone, I would go into my notes and I say, text. Here you go. So I have my templates. This, then I say, okay, let me send this to you now. Send it to Anthony, you got your phone number here and I'll just send this, bam, it's done. This guy will receive, you know, my, my quick text message took me a minute and then she opens it and says, oh, so this is the guy that helped Anthony go solar. Hmm. So when I call them, I'm not a, I, I'm a face. I'm, I'm not, then I follow up with a phone call. Yeah. Way more powerful than just trying to make a, hey, uh, Anthony referred me to you. Who? Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. So you, you just improve your chances of, of, of getting a conversation going. And there's a lot of information because they see, once they see all these pictures, then they know that you're the real deal, right? Yep. So those are you know nuggets I'm sharing with you guys that, to, to make things more efficient for you. So as, as you can see, I have, I have several, you know, Hi, Kathleen, and, and my link's always there. So. so so, whenever you are with someone in an elevator, let me send you my, let me send you my info. And when I send the info, I will, this is what I actually do. I will, so I'll write, I'll write, okay, your phone number is 247, whatever, and say, they say, hi, what's your name, sir? Anthony Robbins, okay. I type my shortcut and that's it. So when I send it to them, and when I look at the things that I sent, like from the weekend swap meet, you know, I look at the things I sent, I know who I sent it to. I know the phone number, I know it's Anthony Robbins. I may have 10 different phone numbers that I sent text messages out to, but I know who it is. So when I call, hey, Anthony, this is Wally. Spoke last Friday to swap meet. Love it. So you get leads, you get phone numbers, and you're efficient. You just increase your chances of connecting and making this, converting this deal into either a referral or a sale. And that's, you, that's how you're converting so high virtually because yeah. they're seeing your face, they're seeing your customers, it's real, like you said. Digital door knocking. They see me, yep. they see my I face. Love it. They see my face right there. Yep. Right. So when Anthony saw, so I saw, I saw um, Charlie at Vegas, I think it was January of this year. And I was, I was guest speaker at uh, Scott Vanessa's uh, team out there. And, and, and Charlie was one of the speakers and he, he joined and he showed, he showed this. And I, as soon as I saw it, I said, I'm buying that thing right there. And then before he left, I said, sign me up, man. Yeah. Paid him right there, paid him. And then the next day he sent me my thing done. And I said, I believe in this. I'm going to promote the heck out of it. Because yeah. all my reps use this. This yeah. is what sets you different from everyone else. This is stuff you don't see in Power Light. This is, this is Wally World stuff. This is Wally World stuff. <laughs> this is Wally World stuff. What do you think, Dana? It's, it's pretty, pretty efficient, huh? This kind of... Um, <laughs> So when you work, when you face to face with someone, you want to get their phone numbers and you want to give them your info. That gives you a chance to follow up the next day or you know the following week. Because without the phone number, you just threw that business card in the trash can. Yeah. Right? Yep. Like I've seen people print the nice color flyers. It's a dollar each at Staples, man. You're just sending it out like candy. You're handing out a dollar. As soon as you gave it to them, you see they walk the trash can and put it in there. You need a phone number. And, and remember, people think, people think it's really cool too, Wally. I, I do use it when I do door to door. Uh, yeah. You know, people really think it's cool. So a lot of people haven't seen that. And so it's yeah. very, yeah. very convenient. Yeah, it's efficient. People, people will let you text them, but they won't give you their phone number. It's crazy. <laughs> really? Right? Yeah. That's awesome. 
So collect leads and then close those deals. Yeah. You, need, you need to get the deal, you need to solicit, you need to make a presentation that you close those sales. And to me, I treat every sale that I, every lead that I make, every Zoom presentation I make, I treat it like, like gold. Whether it's mine or whether it's a, it's a mentor's deal, I treat it like gold. Yeah. Because that's money in the bank for me, you know? And the more, the more I price the project, the more the rep makes, the more I make. Because again, it's how much money goes in the bank, how much, if I can increase the amount of sale I make per project, I don't need to sell as much. Or even if I sold the same amount of deals, let's say I sold 20 deals in one month and, and I increase it, the price of each one by just 1,000 bucks, that's $20,000. How much did I increase the value of, of, the, of, the, of, the, of the monthly payment? Maybe, maybe 20 bucks, maybe 15 bucks. I'm a like businessman, guys. Think <laughs> dollars. I know, I know I make it sound so simple, but it, it's, it's, really, it's really what it is. You just, uh, it's, it just simplify, simplify your life. I agree. One last thing I want to share with you guys. Um, where did it go? You know how you go door knocking and um, and it's always one shut down after the hour. You make phone calls and you keep getting shut down, no referrals. So let's say Let's say it, you make $10 commission on a sale. And let's say it took 10 doors to have someone open and actually talk to you so you can make, you can make that 10 bucks. So every time a door shuts on me, instead of me sulking and say, you know, God damn, I'm tired, you know, I'll, 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 I will go back to the pavement, to the concrete, to the sidewalk, and I will smile to myself and I will say, thanks for the dollar. Okay, because it cost me $1 to get that door shut in my face. But I know I go to 10 doors, I'm going to make my 10 bucks. So thanks for the dollar. Every time you get shut down, you motivate yourself and say, thank you for the dollar, which brings me to what I want to share with you guys. I attended Tom Hopkins in 1983. I had $600 on me. I spent 150 bucks on my money on this guy. And after, after that, I, I got into it that a few months later, after I started making some money in sales, I, I actually bought in and paid him $2,500 for a group of 50 people in one room to go one-on-one. -on -one. Because there was like 3,000, 4,000 people at the LA Convention Center, all paying 150 bucks. And the one thing that I learned from him, the most important thing I learned from him is is this, it's the champion screen. He made us memorize this thing. The champion creed, I am not judged by the number of times I fail, but by the number of times I succeed. And the number of times I succeed is in direct proportion to the number of times I can fail and keep trying. That's what makes winners. Good. When you do this, then you'll stop bitching about $50 a month in power. <laughs> because you'll be making a lot more money. You will fail. You will fail. I'm not God. I can't close everything. There are deals for that I can't close. I make a mistake. I'm tired. I can't do it. But, you know, I don't sell. I pick myself up and start all over again. Do, do the next one to the best of my ability. I'm not judged by the number of times I fail, but by the number of times I succeed. And the number of times I succeed is in direct proportion to the number of times I can fail and keep trying. Screenshot this thing, print it, and put it on your wall. Because if there's anything you take away from today, this is what you need to take away. Because you will fail. We all fail. But it's how you handle the failure is what makes you a champion. Beautiful. And this works not just in sales, guys. This works in life. I'm 65. I've been through a lot of things. I've been to the biggest failures and biggest successes. I've built many million-dollar companies. I've also, lost, I've also lost fortunes. But never stopped me. Just kept going. Bounce back and going.
I hope I didn't bore you guys. No, <laughs> you were great. You're you guys great. can unmute yourself and just you know just reach you know just uh, say whatever you know you, you want any comment. Just I'm I'm here. You got me for you know another fifteen minutes or so before my eight o'clock. Yes. Yeah. Wally, you're awesome. Thank you. You're welcome, guys. Yeah, technically, guys, the meeting left or ended about 25 minutes ago. <laughs> but <clears throat> Wally's hanging out, so I don't mind hanging out with him as well. Yeah, I don't mind hanging out. If you guys watch uh, watch that video on um, on on Power TV, it, it's there's some oh, yeah. really cool stuff there. I think I blew um, the Cammy's mind. She never expected it. <laughs> I think what 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 blew her mind is when I said I will when when, when I will not go home until I have a sale. Yeah, it feels like I wasted my time. Well, and something that I love too that you said was that in in, in the forty years or so that you've been um, that you immigrated here, you said you never accepted a paycheck, and mm -hmm. and I know why. But what's that mindset behind that? What? You want to tell some of these, you know, uh, maybe newer guys, maybe they're transitioning from, you know, a salaried or an hourly position. Um, uh, do you have any feedback on that? Or why? It's a it's a businessman's mindset. When you're thinking like a business person, you think about uh, profit, right? Yeah. You also think about cost. One one millionaire billionaire that I know early in my my. Uh, my career told me it's not how much money you make, it's how much money you keep. So make as much money as you can, but you know you you gotta cut your cut your bread. Keep it in the bank. It's it's more fun to see the money accumulating than just depleting. I mean, if you're if you have a like what the manager that I work with, you know, his overhead was like eighteen thousand or fifteen thousand dollars a month, and I was starting in solar. And I said, I'm done with that, man. My overhead, I've cut it down to everything. My overhead is like two thousand dollars a month. So if I make if I make thirty, I make forty. I I see the, the money going in the bank. You know, I see thirty thousand going in the bank because I I don't spend it. Well, I don't spend it on a fixed overhead. I spend it on my toys. I go to yeah. restaurants. I enjoy the you know. I I I don't mind going spending two hundred bucks in a nice fancy restaurant. Because that's what I enjoy doing. But I'm not going to saddle myself with, like somebody said, you should buy a Tesla. I said, why? <laughs> why would I buy, pay $1,000 a month in, 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 you know, in money, in, in, in overhead, extra $1,000 every single month? Why? Just to save $6 in gasoline? I have, nice, I have two nice cars. I don't need a Tesla. Just to make a statement. No, it's not, that's not me. I'd rather see the money in the bank. So it's not how much you make, it's how much you keep, guys. And that, that's why I, I, I think like a businessman. Now, I, I wasn't thinking like this the, my first few, first decade as a businessman. To me, it was all build, 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 you know, shiny cars and shiny that. But in the end, you know, I was just paying my overhead, not, not really putting money for savings or, or growth. So I'm done with that. It's not how much you make, it's how much you keep. Yep.